ready for the dictation one two three i call upon policy makers in the government captains of industry and trade unions and leaders of other concerned organizations to develop this concept further so that we can launch the national work improvement campaign in an expeditious and effective manner the cornerstone of the national work improvement campaign will have to be an emphasis on teamwork excellence in work is really the result of individual excellence rather it is the cumulative outcome of the proper management of team talent in order to enrich and activate team talent we must create organizations that are less hierarchical and more democratic we must create an environment which accepts creative ideas and initiatives from whichever direction they may come the national work improvement campaign must also place high emphasis on continuous learning at the workplace training retraining and acquisition of new knowledge should become an integral part of our work culture let each and every economic organization in the country become a learning organization and let india itself become a learning nation our effort to create a new national work culture will bear the desired fruit only if it is rooted in the age old concept of seva work becomes more than a job indeed work becomes workshop only when it is done with the attitude of samaj seva and rashtra seva once again i congratulate the sram award winners and their managements and express the hope that they will continue to display the qualities that have won them this prestigious national honor before concluding let me reiterate my appeal to all my countrymen let us together honor bharat mata by launching sincerely and earnestly the national work improvement campaign with the central appeal work faster work better work for the nation i greet you all and every brother and sister around the world on the 50th anniversary of the universal declaration of human rights this day 50 years ago the member states of the united nations adopted what president roosevelt so movingly described as the international magna carta of all men everywhere the immediate backdrop of the declaration was the horrifying spectacle of men's brutality against men as witnessed during the second world war during those bleak years of this century an individual's inalienable right to dignity and liberty were brutally trampled upon the universal declaration of human rights was supposed to be a safeguard against the repetition of the brutalities of world war 2 and to establish the overriding supremacy of human rights this noble purpose was underscored by the bena 
declaration that asserted all human rights are universal, indivisible, interrelated, and interdependent. This must be noble. Please stop.